Hi, it's Brad Harrison with Wheatstone and Audio Arts. We're going to look now at how to set up on-air tallies with the Audio Arts DMX console. We need to have a few resources in place to do that, so let's look at the very short list. First, we need a DMX control surface. This one's all set up and ready to go, plugged into its power supply. Here's our Audio Arts DMX engine, sometimes called a blade. This is the guts of the system we've got turned around backwards so we can see the connectors. My tally cable is just a piece of Cat5 that I've cut one end off, and I've stripped it back so I'll be able to terminate the leads into our relay box. In this case, we're using a Henry Engineering Super Relay, a relay box designed specifically for tally use. We'll also be working with the new Henry Super Light Relay Box designed for the new generation of LED tally lights. Later, we're going to need a computer running Windows, and we'll need this USB stick which ships with the console. It contains all the console's configuration utilities. If you watched our previous videos, you have likely installed these utilities already. Let's tackle the hardware first. Looking at the back of the relay box, we've only got three connections that we're really concerned about. The first three on this Phoenix connector are labeled on, off, and G for ground. To make the cable, I've taken any random piece of RJ45 and simply nipped the other end off and I've stripped it back and folded back the conductors I don't need. Here are the connections that I've made to the relay box. If you check the manual, you will find the pinout of the AudioArts DMX logic port. Number one, which is white with an orange stripe, is our ground and I've connected it to G on the relay box. Pin number two, which is an orange wire, is our Logic 1, our first Logic port, and I've connected that to the on connection of the relay box. Finally, you'll see a small jumper in the picture here between G and off. According to Henry Engineering's instructions, I need that small jumper if I want to maintain contact closure, which is what we need for our tally. Finally, I'm just going to bring the connector end of the RJ45 around and plug it into the logic port of the engine. That completes the connection and we can now plug a tally light up to 200 watts into the relay box and take control of it from the control surface. And how do we do that with the setup software? Watch part two.